and welcome to my channel. I am Stephanie. This is day number two of VEDA video every day in April. And we're going to be talking about maybe um some a grumpy sunshine, some of my favorite authors and uh, something else. As I said, this is a day two of video every day in April. Um, I am pre-recording many of these videos. So uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, as you guys know, the format for this year's beta is going to be, of course, the introduction where I tell you guys what's going on in every single video. Then I will be revisiting one of the books that I have, one of the many books that I have read over the last 10 years, then I will answer two questions from my podcast podcast de deck. Let's see if I can get this tongue twister out. And then I will give you guys two recommendations for the topic of the day, which is grumpy sunshine. So if at any point you want to jump ahead, you can try because I'm not doing any chapter uh, things. So yeah, let's just jump into it. So the book that I picked for um, to review that came up randomly from my random name generator is, uh, an easy one for me this year, this time for this day, uh, because it is obsessed, which is Tangled Web number two by Alethea Romig. Yes. You guys know that she is one of my favorite authors, if not my favorite author. And this is part of the Sparrow Web saga that I absolutely love. Now, if I'm thinking correctly, I'm pretty sure that this book uh, is the second book in the third trilogy. But to be on the safe side, let's go look at my Goodreads and uh, check out what I had to say back in the day. Okay, so this is book number five in the Sparrow Web uh, universe, as it's being called on, on Goodreads. However, my review is not the first one up. So let's take a look and see if I can share the screen with you guys. Okay, so here is the page for the Goodreads uh, section of Obsessed, which is Tangled Web, number two by Alethea Romig. And as you guys can see, I gave this a 4.5 stars, three Steam fans. It was something that I started reading once I had instituted that whole Steam fans thing. And this is what I learned or what I wrote for it. We learn even more about Cater and Laurel with a bunch of new twists and turns. Once again, Alethea has left us with an ending that is truly jaw-dropping. One of those endings that you flip the book over, push your Kindle next, slot, next side, and are baffled that the narration is over on your audiobook. I did see some of the twists coming, but regardless... Of foreshadowing of the foreshadowing because I have read all of the connecting books. Someone new coming into the series will be thrown back and left speechless. Uh, so you can check out my video review of this in my July 2019 wrap up. And uh, yeah, wow, super excited about that. And um, of course I was going to get it right. I mean, like, seriously, I mean, <laughs> it's Alethea Romig. Of course I'm going to get that right. Um, so I think my next ones are probably going to be, uh, you know, a little harder. So I hope you're looking forward to that. If you haven't dove into the Sparrow Webs saga, then you definitely should. Uh, it starts with Secrets. Um, it's a red cover. It's really gorgeous. Um, and it's an overall amazing series and uh, saga that talks about the dark, deep underworld of Chicago. And um, it's this vibrant twist and turns, four different couples, 12 books. And I hope you guys will go check it out because I loved it. I loved it oh so much. So question number one from our podcast uh, deck, and that is, 
Back in high school, what was the strangest thing someone could find in my locker? Oh my goodness. Ooh, ew, gross. Yeah, um, I would probably have to say changes of clothing because I grew up in like a really strict kind of home and you weren't allowed to, I wasn't allowed to like wear certain clothes and, you know, if it was with the times, then, you know, I wanted to be with the times. So I would hide those clothes in my locker. Yeah. I'm telling myself it's crazy, crazy, crazy. And question at number two is going to be, is cereal soup? Why or why not? Cereal is not, is not soup. Cereal is cereal. Yes, there is a liquid. Yes, there are um, things within that liquid, but it's not hot. And I know there's gazpacho and stuff like that, but um, yeah, it, it's not. It's not. It's not. Period. It's not. So. There is that. There's your answers to those questions. Make sure you answer the sudden questions down in the comment section. Let's get some conversation going. Uh, for today's Rex, we're going with Grumpy Sunshine. And the first book I'm going to tell you guys to go check out is Drive by Kate Stewart. This is a amazingly fun um, romance about a woman that gets some news about an ex in um on her way from a traveling trip she's a music editor music journalist and things like that she's very much into music and kate stewart gives you this amazing ride of a journey on you know reflecting on your life through music and everything like that it does feel like a love triangle and in some ways it is a love triangle however the journey that kate stewart ends up taking you on through this uh this woman's eyes and through this woman's playlist is absolutely amazing and fun and angsty and you never know which guy she's going to uh end up with uh until the end so there is that. Next book I'm going to tell you guys to go check out is Turbulence by Whitney G. And Whitney did something that I didn't think was possible. I loved this book. This is a true enemies to not really friends, but fuck buddies to friends to lovers uh, romance. I went into this thinking this is going to be about completely about pilots and uh, airline stewardess and things like that. I read it for a challenge uh, that I did way back in the day and uh, for booktube, I think it was, or booktubeathon or something like that. Um, but I did it for a challenge and I read this book and fell in love with it. It's super steamy and uh, I had a really great time reading it and hope you guys will go check this author out as well. So that concludes today's beta. I hope you guys enjoyed that little tidbit back into my reading world. Um, let me know down in the comment section, comment section, uh, the answers to those questions that I answered. Super funny. Yes, I know. I hope, I hope. Um, but other than that, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Also, there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my uh, channel. My, all my Patreon social links are down in the description box as well. So you can follow me on all other platforms uh, because I'm putting content out like crazy, you guys, like crazy. So go watch it. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another VEDA video.